Okay, uh, so if you just watch the growth video, um, I'm hoping that the board is going to be a bit more stable this time. Um, so, second, so, so first thing the government cares about is is growth because it leads to higher living standards and you know more, more income for people and more innovation and so on. Um, a second thing the governments care about is whether people have you know, whether people have a job or not. Yeah? Um, so they, they care about unemployment. Unemployment isn't quite what you might think it is. Yeah, it's not just literally people who aren't working. Um, unemployment is defined as you know, all those you know, all those who want a job. Yeah, but are unable to find one. If we gave it a more formal definition, yeah, it's those who are yeah available and willing to work, but unable to find a job. So, for example, my daughter, yeah, who's currently in year ten. Um, yeah, she's not unemployed. Yeah, uh, because she's not a job, <laughs> but also, but also she's not available to do it either. Yeah, yeah so, so it's yeah, you, you yeah, you, you kind of I am looking for work. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely, um, but I can't find a job. Um, and there are various ways of counting that. Yeah, and again, we'll come back to that later in the course. So, what we what we should ask ourselves. Yeah, first first of all is well why might people you know why might people be yeah you know, why might people be unemployed why can they why are they looking for a job but not able to find one and that's says reasons it's not very legible I'm not sure about this brown one um, so the reasons are, are are firstly we could look at you know, the demand side of the economy in other words the reason that you can't find a job is that there aren't any jobs yeah so why aren't there any jobs um, it could be that we're in recession. Yeah, so in a recession, yeah, there's a fall in yeah, there's a fall in what I'm going to call aggregate demand. Yeah, aggregate just means total. There's a fall in total demand in the economy. Firms haven't got any money. They haven't got they haven't, they haven't got revenue. Um, yeah, when firms' revenue falls, they they, they can't make any profit. Um, so so then they've got to cut costs. And one way in which they cut costs is they you yeah, know they fire people. Yeah, um, so they, they get rid of some of their staff. So if you're a coffee shop and you have any customers, then the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get rid of your waiters, your waitresses, your yeah, your bar staff, and so on. Yeah, so yeah, so one reason yeah is simply that you yeah, know the economy just doesn't have demand. Um, and that's that's kind of that's kind of fairly obvious. Um, and then yeah, governments kind of can can try to yeah, depending on how interventions you want to be as a government, you can do something about that. Yeah, so central banks can cut interest rates or something to to, to stimulate demand. Um, on the other hand, we have supply side unemployment, and what we're saying here is that there are plenty of jobs, and yeah? um, it's just that people, for whatever reason, aren't taking them. So one is there are no jobs. I exaggerate, but you know what I mean. On the supply side, yeah, there are jobs, but people can't do them. So why might they not be able to? They might not be able to do it because yeah, you know, they've got the wrong skills. Yeah, so you're looking for work, yeah, but unfortunately your skills are yeah as a coal miner. Yeah, but what we need is um, app designers. Or you might be in the wrong part of the country. So it might be that you're available to work, but you're only available to work in yeah Newcastle. Yeah, but all the jobs are yeah all the jobs are in the southeast or something. Yeah. Um, it might be that yeah you're willing to work, but wages are too high. Yeah, your real wages are too high because of things like yeah you know, trade union power or the national minimum wage could do it, um, and so on and so forth. Yeah, or it might just be that you're you're temporarily unemployed. It takes time. Yeah, so you know it takes time to to find a new job. Yeah, because of information issues, there's, there's kind of job search times and so on. And we'll go on to all that. Yeah, but essentially, basically, we can say that there are demand side reasons for unemployment. Yeah, which is simply that you know there are, there aren't any jobs to be had, or the supply side, there are jobs to be had, but you can't do them. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, because you haven't had time to find it. You're too expensive. You're in the wrong place. You have the wrong skills and so on and so forth. And these these have names. Yeah, but we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it later. But but again, it's just good to have a sense of what's causing unemployment. So. The other thing is, well, you know, kind of, so what? Yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, so why do we, you know, why, why do we care about unemployment? Um, and again, there's, a, yeah, there's a variety of reasons that we might care. Yeah, obviously, yeah, firstly, yeah, it has an impact on, yeah, the living standards. Oops. 
yeah, of individuals within the economy. If you lose your job, you've got no money, yeah, um, yeah, so you can't afford stuff. Um, and also, yeah, it has kind of it has kind of psychological effects. Um, so it's not it's not great for individuals, it leads to depression, it's linked with health issues and so on. Secondly, it's very bad for government finances. Um, and we, we covered that um, when we talked about growth, but basically it means there'll be an increase in government spending on benefits and a decrease in the amount of tax revenue the government gets. So we're going to end up with a budget deficit, which means that the government will have to borrow, which isn't great, and we'll come to that in a minute. Um, thirdly, it's just inefficient. Yeah, we talked about this probably when we did PPFs. Yeah, it's, it's what's called Pareto, that's an R, Pareto inefficient. It's a waste of resources. Yeah, so we're, you know, we could produce all of that, but we're operating inside our production possibility frontier. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, so that's, that's a bad thing. Um, fourthly, obviously it means a decrease in profits for businesses. Yeah, um, and therefore that's likely to me lead to you know, a decrease in innovation. And fifthly, there are kind of social issues. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's associated with crime. We said earlier it's associated with health issues and, and so on and so forth. So, all in all, governments prefer to avoid unemployment um, if they can. Yeah, so we want growth and we want jobs. Those are our first two key policy objectives. Oh yeah, and one other thing. Um, if people are unemployed for you know, a very, very long time, yeah, you know, um, then what happens yeah, is, yeah, sixthly, there is a risk of de-skilling. Yeah, that actually the jobs market moves on, um, yeah, while you're out of it. Yeah, and, um, so as a result of which, yeah, there is a risk that you'll you'll never get a job. In other words, short-term unemployment can eventually lead to long-term unemployment. Yeah, which can then create yeah, you know, kind of major social and other consequences yeah, um, in the long term for the government. And, and once people are out of the workforce for a long time, it's very hard to get them back into it. Yeah, so that's another reason that you would prefer to, you know, you would prefer it if unemployment was, uh, well, not there at all or yeah, as short run as possible.